all right good afternoon everybody i hope you guys are enjoying your labor day being safe out there uh let me get this through to you guys so you can go ahead and finish your weekend off right <coughs> excuse me so i got uh five here for y'all and we're just gonna go ahead and jump right on into them okay so the first one that I'm looking at is actually AVGO and AVGO has been pretty good. We played it before uh, in the in uh, in the main main service here and it actually worked out pretty good. As you can see AVGO, you know, while it's if I zoom out here, you can see nice bullish trend kind of slowed down a little bit and we had our earnings and it's uh, still holding some momentum to the upside. We did pull back significantly on Friday here, but that's OK. So we got an early entry and a nice squeeze on the weekly. So it's long term still looking pretty good. Then we got a light squeeze with momentum to the upside here on the daily. I actually even like the hourly chart. It's stacked to the upside. We got a nice squeeze. So what I'm looking at doing is selling the 480 vertical put spread. And as you can see, that puts us below the 50 moving average. So there is some uh, nice resistance there. So looking at that one, right, I want to sell the 480s. And we're talking October now. Sell those 480 puts, buy those 470s. Ideally, because this is a 10 wide, the higher the better. Uh, the lowest that goes 250. So as, I mean, the credit it's there, but it's not. So if I can get 275 for this, that would be fantastic. Uh, obviously, I would like three bucks, but with the lower IVR, we're not going to see that high credit. So right around that 30 delta. Vertical put spread 270, 275, and look for it to break out towards those uh, all time highs at 507. Okay. Uh, the next one that I'm looking at is going to be FXI. Now, I know this is a China ETF in China. We've all been kind of worrisome. Things can move around. So I'm just looking at doing a very small strangle on FXI. And. Uh, <clears throat> You know well past expected move that way we got a little bit of wiggle room here on this one so as you can see i'm looking at at selling you know uh the call side up there by um the 200 day and then a lot of wiggle room to the downside just to give us some movement uh it's been pretty much in this range for a while in april okay we did come down consolidated down here it may look like it's starting to come up but that 50 day is going to be a nice little resistance spot and technically, you know, here on the hourly too, it's still holding. Uh, we're pretty much stacked to the downside. We got that 50 day there as well. Okay, so what I want to do, and it's got reasonable IVR. I want to go out to October and sell a strangle. Uh, and I want to sell like a 10 delta. So super far out of the money here. I want to sell those 36 puts and sell those 46 calls. All right, 10 delta. And it's going to pretty much lean us neutral to a one delta long. So if it does go up, we'll make a little bit of money. Ideally, I want to try to at least get 35 cents, if not close to that 40. Mid price is 39. And I'll probably sell three or four contracts. 117 bucks right now with three contracts puts you at about $1,200 in buying power. And then again, about two bucks past expected move. Okay. So the next one here is going to be Goldman Sachs. That's a GC, right? And I want to just take this one long as well. Weekly chart looking pretty good. Momentum, no squeeze, but upward momentum is there pulling back, you know, off these highs. We did get a nice run up, crazy run when financials are doing good. We hit a high, we kind of pulled back a little bit and uh, I want to take it to neutral to long. Okay. So hanging out below the 21 moving average here. And I'm just going to do a vertical spread, looking for it to run up as we kind of, we won't be in it that long, at least hopefully anyways, but uh, looking at it to kind of come back up towards those highs. So with Goldman Sachs, October, just right at the 30 Delta, keep things a little bit, you know, credit's a little low as you can see, but I'd rather stay a little bit lower. So I want to sell the 395 puts, buy those 390 puts, at least a buck 30, right? So if it's lower than that, I won't take the trade. So we might have to wait a day or two here. Uh, if it market maybe pulls back, if it opens high tomorrow or not, but it'll give an overall 65 pop, dollar 30 in credit, and defines you. Okay, not bad at all. All right, next one that I'm looking at is H Ban, right? H B A N. It's Huntington Bank shares. I I very rarely play this one. 
but uh, I don't mind it. It's got a good probability here. A little low on liquidity. So we might have a little bit of an issue there, right? I mean, it sold 10 million shares, but options, uh, when I show you here in a second, you can see what I mean by that. But as you can see, it's pretty much just copy bullish a little bit. So I'm going to do a sideways to neutral play. It is running up. We are stacked to the upside. It bounced off the 21. Okay, we weekly showing some upward momentum here. You're seeing a nice little squeeze. So we want to take this, like I said, sideways too long. So H band, and this is what I mean, right? 10 million shares, great. It traded a lot. But when you come over to the options, uh, you can see as of Friday, it really didn't sell much. There's quite a bit of open interest, but not a lot. So I don't want to chase it. It isn't too bad here, 25 cents wide. So I just want to go ahead and sell in October those 14 puts. Try to get 22, 25, 20 cents for it. You know, obviously if I only get 20 cents, then you know I may sell more than five contracts. But so I'd like to get at least mid price here. Um, 22 cents. We'll see how it opens tomorrow. A little bit more on the expensive side, but for an 82 pop, 100 bucks, I'll take it. Okay, not too bad. No defined risk on this one. All right. And then the last one here has been NVIDIA, and NVIDIA's been rocking and rolling lately. You can see here on the daily chart, it's right near those highs. But the weekly here, upward momentum, just killing it. Right near those highs, we got a good squeeze on the 130, picking up momentum, a little bit of a bull flag here even. And then uh, our hourly chart, stacked to the upside, looking good. So I'm looking for a breakout this week on this one. Okay, so with NVIDIA, October, I'm looking at selling the 220 puts and buying those 215 calls. And I'm so sorry, selling those 220 puts, buying those 215 puts. Try to get about a buck 40 for this, buck 35, a little bit high on the deltas, but uh, I'm fairly confident in this one, liking it a lot. 62 pop, define risk play. Okay, and that's it, you guys. Um, have a great rest of your weekend. I don't know if you saw it, I am running a Labor Day special here 15% off any uh, of our premium services. That's the monthly, quarterly, and yearly. Um, runs through tomorrow night if you guys are interested we've been killing it lately with not only these trades but uh, we've been doing a NDX trade um, short term kind of like that uh, 7 DTE income strategy some of you might be aware of but uh, we've been trading NDX almost every day doing like a seven day eight day nine day three day two day um, and it's been very very good and this is just kind of like a screenshot here of the NDX trades. And uh, we're making between 50 and 100% on these trades. So you can see every day, 9-3, we got out of two. 9-1, I got out of three of them. I'm sorry, 9-3, I got out of three. 9-1, I got out of three. August 30th, I got out of three, right? We are just putting trades on. We're making 50, 60, 80, 100% gains uh, and rocking and rolling. Okay, guys, so it's a new strategy we've been doing, only available pretty much in chat, in the premium service. You don't want to miss out on this. Um, again, that special for Labor Day uh, runs through tomorrow, expires tomorrow at midnight. So if you are interested, guys, 15% off, uh, and you will be grandfathered then. Anyways, take care. Have a great rest of your Labor Day. Be safe out there, guys. And hopefully I will see you in chat.